What's your opinion on the education system? I know you have strong opinions. Though. Very strong. I think that it sets you up for failure in like the terms like of memorize, memorize, forget, memorize, forget, memorize, mm -hmm. forget. Um, that you don't really learn anything. I would say, especially with the classes I'm taking now. Like I'm taking a healthcare class right now, and all of it is just like get as much information as your brain as possible so you can take the test and pass it doesn't mean you have to understand it all it just means you have to know it all which seems very scary since this is supposed to you know get me ready for nursing school <laughs> yeah um, so that's you know kind of scary mm -hmm. but um yeah i think a lot of it is just especially in america it's just about memorizing and i don't think that's how you learn necessarily no it's not or at least you at least get memorized in a longer sp period of time than just one semester yeah like i feel like i can just yeah what is your opinions? My opinions are long and passionate. So you won't get into it all right now? Um, no, I will. <laughs> Not the whole thing. I'll okay. just give you like a like a brief summary. Um, I hate the education system in no America. Way. Like <laughs> like there is a level if you say if you say okay, we're going to create an institution for kids to, to move through so that they can be prepared for the real world. Mm -hmm. Though one of the worst ways you can do that is the system we have now. <laughs> like, in the real world, you're not told things. You learn things by learning them. Like, you choose to learn them. Because, mm -hmm. like, once you get out of school, for the rest of your life, you have to learn things as well. And you don't learn them by a person forcing you to sit down and, and telling it to you. You have to go and seek that information for yourself. Mm -hmm. So school should reflect that. There are things that you must know, but an unbelievable amount of the stuff we learn in school is useless in the real world. Y equals MX plus B. <laughs> exactly. I'm never going to use that. Ever. Like, algebra is fun, but like still... I'm if, not having fun in algebra right now. <laughs> I'm struggling. Um. So, so if I was gonna re reinstitutionalize education, mm -hmm. take classrooms, throw out all the desks, oh. make it put couches and and other seats, and you can have like a a big desk where people can sit down and write on. Mm -hmm. Um. But make it a much more discussion based environment rather than everyone shut up and listen to the teacher you won't you wouldn't have to raise your hand to go to the bathroom because in as an adult you go to the bathroom when you need to go to the bathroom and you come back when you're done like that's just how it works and so i, I was talking to my parents at the dinner table about this like or jude disagreed he was like you're not allowed to go to the bathroom if he was going to do a class that's how he would do it but like people need to go yeah as an adult like, you, you go to the bathroom when you need to. You don't have to ask. Yeah. Because that's fundamentally inhumane to ask when I'm allowed to... Especially when they refuse. Yeah. I just found out a teacher at my school, apparently, only allows one... You only have to go to the bathroom once a class period, and, um, but you have an emergency pass, but if you don't use your pass, you get extra credit. So you basically get extra credit for not having to For go not pee. having an emergency. <laughs> like, yeah. what? That's crazy. Um. So, so that would be abolished. And then... um. Aside from the fundamental stuff, like from the early, we're talking about like middle school through high school, mm -hmm. middle school, early that time, you should have all your fundamentals down by then, like yeah. all the stuff you're going to need. And then like in the high school level, you should have a, a mandatory class about problem solving. Oh. Like for your whole career in high school, you should have a, prob uh, a problem solving class mm -hmm. because that'll make you excellent in the real world if you <laughs> are able to approach a problem and then think logically through it and solve it like that is unbelievably like good um and effective and in school now it, if you try and get like somebody to do that like the system now is like it it benefits you if you don't solve problems yeah it, it benefits you if you just think completely inside the box. That's how you get ahead. Yeah, they have to teach critical thinking skills now. Yeah. Like, I've been told that I have good critical thinking skills because I went to private school and I actually had to, like, <laughs> do more than just yeah. the assignment. Because that's, like, all they're taught to do today. And also because kids 
a lot of kids don't want to learn. Yeah. So they just end up not doing their work or cheating their way through high school. Exactly. And getting like crappy grades and not going to college because they just want to work. Yeah. If they just want to work, they can, they can just work. And so, so like middle school through high school, you should have problem solving and you should have a ma- one mandatory class that, that is about um, like things you're going to need to know for the real world. Mm-hmm. Because if you start them off, if you say from sixth grade to 12th grade, if you tell, explain kid to kids how to do a mortgage, how to do taxes, how to like m- mostly everything that has to do with finances <laughs> and the government and how the government works, like you will, and the rest of the, the, rest of the day mm-hmm. is about whatever the kid wants to learn. Like you will pump out kids that will be incredible thinkers and incredible functional members of society you know they have a school like that in i don't know if it's exactly like that but basically it's just like a same old school day but they have like classes that you could just take on the day or you can just go in the library and study yeah but like you have options to go like you don't have assigned classes it's just like hey today i want to learn art oh i can go in the art class today and i think it's in Finland? it's in some european country well the sudbury system is kind of like that mm-hmm. where it's completely self-motivated um which i think is not the best like you should have some things that are forced yes like the fundamentals that you need to know like basic math and that kind of thing but when you're younger like kit boys in in lower school are treated like defective girls in in the education system and so like jude was going to be held back just because he couldn't read but he was like excellent in math like really good in math Mm -hmm. but just because he couldn't read the best at like seven he wasn't allowed to to go ahead but like kids will naturally want to know how to read like if you leave them alone by nine or ten they'll know how to read pretty well yeah so it's it's not about like if you force a kid into a box that's only gonna detr like it's only gonna hurt him yeah because people are like even if people are resistant to it at first eventually you're gonna want to learn yeah like in middle school i did not want to learn at all but like now that i'm in high school and i'm actually like allowed to see see and like take classes and stuff that i'm interested in i like learning for the most part yeah <laughs>